Chroma Squad! Uh, you'll excuse me for not sounding more excited, but I just spent the last hour trying to get this game to run after I realized my first playthrough of the first level was fucked over it in entirety by my screen capture software. As such, editor, please play a selection of my pre my first playthrough with clips I'll be taking from this first run of this level. Chroma Squad! Yeah, I'm finally getting to it. Um, hi everybody, I'm Deshenta, and I like RPGs. And I also like Power Rangers, and Super Sentai, and Kamen Rider, and the list goes on. And thanks to Behold Studios, they made a bitmapped, I forget the exact phrase, sprite-based uh, tactical RPG about Sentai series that was released in April. I am recording this at the beginning of July. I only just now find the time. I seriously wanted to play this earlier, but it kept being pushed down priority, so I figured I'd finally, since I'm moving back my stuff to YouTube, I would make this a YouTube exclusive Let's Play for everybody. And so, yeah, I'm a... I'm gonna go with casual, because I just want to enjoy the story. I'm a big story-based, and Come on, it's tactical RPGs. Everybody knows tactical RPGs, so I'm gonna just stick with that. <clears throat> Once upon a time, at a TV show, just like any other. Yeah, I don't think they do it. Every TV show does as many effects as Power Rangers, Super Sentai, Commander, the list goes on. Have done. Super Rangers! Oh god. I'm Super! Thanks for asking! Super Rangers, it is time for all stuntmen to get into the scene. Hurry up! Yeah, from concept, this is about a bunch of stuntmen behind the scenes, and stuntmen are really... And where are the minions? And stuntmen are really important for this genre, so it's important to respect them, even if you don't remember their names off the top of my head. Pretty much the only ones I do are people like Hiroshi Maeda, Seiji Takaiwa, the one that are so um, prevalent in the franchise. There we go, we all set for this part. Vex will come later. I guess we are lacking some story, huh? Is this a criticism of Nin Ninja? <clears throat> yeah, but Dr. Mia doesn't enjoy it that much. Doesn't enjoy what that much? This was a patro a um, crowdfunded video game, by the way, so I guess a bit of scripting isn't up to best quality, but already from first glances, it's looking pretty good. Pretty impressive for, you know, this kind of basic sprite lookout. This is getting really boring. I'm kind of tired of... STOP TALKING WHILE WE'RE RECORDING! I need to pick an accent and stick with it. Battle them! Or should I remind you? That you may click to either walk or choose monsters you want to attack! Oh god, this is a tutorial. Director's instructions to beat three enemies. Alright, give me my team. <clears throat> so I guess squares are movement spaces like any TRPG, and combine actions between squad members. Use teamwork as a character, then use him as a trampoline to move further or attack an adjacent target. So if I were to position them where. The others can get to him. Maybe I can pull that off. So why don't I place black here? <coughs> and I guess we can. We have a second move function. So I will click teamwork. And look at all the spaces we then get. I'm going to use yellow to attack. Wait. Wasn't I supposed to? Huh. Anyways, red gets the boost, and attacks. Blue boy is going to go for this guy over here. Just search completed, 400 audience points. And pink's not being able to get anything bonus, but at least most of the team is together. Team tactics, everybody has to stay close together. 
Squad's turn. Chroma kick! Because I I guess that wasn't really applicable because we haven't really named the team yet. Directed instructions. Three enemies defeated. Yay! This is one of the best episodes I've seen so far this season. Then your show must be really, really awful. Psst. He was always says that as long as we are defeating the monsters really easily. Wow, the stuntmen are self-aware. Well, I wouldn't say self-aware. Most people are self-aware. I'm just saying that, you know, they're, criti they're criticizing their own work because they have the right to criticize their own work. I heard you! Now I want some acrobatics. We can add some explosions to them later. Is this guy based on the Bruce Kalish or something? Explosions and special effects work are not good replacements for a lack of compelling fight scenes or story. Let me finish talking! Jeez. That was actually what I was saying at the same time. You should use a teamwork! Damn, I clipped past it. You still don't get a word I said! Use teamwork and then click on those yellow cells! Get in position! Okay, we're ready. Bleep bloop. Ready to form tour team acrobatics. So, if I move him there, I can probably trigger a teamwork event with blue and pink. Yeah. There we go. Teamwork. Oh, no wait, it's close enough. All right. So let's move him here. And allow red to hit the far side. That hurts! Wait, wrong voice. There we go. Additional teamwork. Can we even reach? No, they can't. Okay, so let's teamwork him and make a springboard for... Oh, unfortunately it doesn't work like that. That's unfortunate. Thought I could chain the teamworks. Bottom two, team acrobatics check. Cut! Another perfect scene! Be glad I'm here to tell you what to do all the time! Oh boy. Now show the audience some more teamwork! You know how it works? Attack a man when someone is using teamwork next to it! I trust you guys won't hurt me. On team attack with two squad members. I will place you here for adjacent power. Let's see how that. Huh. Let's show some teamwork from these guys. Double attack. Bomb a team attack. Two members. Check. Great job! Keep it like that. I'm loving this. Move now so the boss can teleport into the set. Where's the big girl in the master suit? This is how you're going to do this. Remember your training. Put four of you just into the monster and teamwork. And then attack the monster. Everyone around you will help out. This is what we call a finishing move. He sets. Full throttle! Why is he saying all these things again? We've done this so many times already. This game is self-aware and I love it. <coughs> he just likes telling people what to do, I guess. The monster will blow up when you do the finish move. I need the five of you to do it together! Should we fight the monster before the finishing move? This feels rushed. Our audience won't enjoy it. I can agree to that, yes. 
That's actually been one of my critiques of a lot of recent giant monster brawls. It just goes straight to the special combination they're featuring, or the finishing move, which is all stock footage, when, you know, you're shooting original footage in one of the stage sets, I know you don't want them damaged, but a bit, about a minute of content before you, you go for it would be nice. I never want to hear you say, I want it that way. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was clever. It's a music lyric, I forget what the song was, but it's like, either Backstreet Boys or Sync. Tell me why ain't nothing- Yeah, it was Backstreet Boys. Okay, teamwork it. Teamwork it. Pink. Teamwork it. Teamwork it. He sets full throttle. Chroma power. <coughs> Five star toilet or something. Deep Mosh with fishing move check. You are so strong. Remember, it's a woman in the costume. Explended. That's not even a word! Now for the grand finale! The huge monster explosion! No! Right, woman in the suit. No! Did they just kill someone with an explosion? And I mean the suit actor, not the actual monster they're fighting. This is ridiculous. Not even a giant robot fight. Well, not every episode needs to have a giant robot fight, especially if it's story-heavy. In fact, I would prefer, uh, you know, mega giant mech introductions in the second episode so of the series so we can better establish character. That's been a problem the last few series in that they're so busy introducing the premise and getting the Megazord brawl out of the way that they're not really focusing on character, which is important for its grounding rules. Hey! The actors just sit in their chairs. We stuntmen and do most of the recording. I swear, were they watching Nin Ninja when they were, um... Nin Ninja or Tokyo when they were stunning this? I mean, okay, oh, Tokyo had a good balance of, um, actors and the stuntmen in the suits, but it was still- it was beginning to lean the wrong way. Oh, and don't even get me started on Go Busters doing that. And besides this, this is so silly. We always record in the studio. We should go outside, see different places. Agree. You can't do everything aside on a green screen set. Otherwise, you get Sanctuary. And that show, like, was good for, what, one season? Then again, that was Sci-Fi versus Siffy, so... <coughs> Come on, PayPal. Our show is not that bad. I'm listening. Why can't we run our very own studio? Oh my, that's just the perfect idea! You know, that's actually not a bad idea, idea all things considered. By the people, for, by the stuntmen, for the stuntmen. <coughs> Count me in. What? Are you leaving Seba Rangers? I'm in too. Let's do this. Yeah, you can usually tell how badly you're botching things if your actors and stuntmen are against you. Take Kamen Rider Hibiki, for example. Have fun leaving, leading a studio that isn't fun to work at, Dr. Mia. Oh, is that is that D is that DR supposed to be director? Director Mia? Yeah, I don't think director gets um shortened to DR unless no wait, both the D and R in do, in, in the um short abbreviation for doctor are capitalized, aren't they? Huh. Bye bye, Dr. Me. Direct. I keep doing that because I so expect DR to mean doctor. Director Mia. Oh, um, please stop being so mean to your employees. No comments. I'm blanking on the name of the person I want to call out for that. You can't! Uh. And then they run away. Flee! Flee for your lives! At least leave the suits at the door! Yes, because good stuntmen are so easy to replace. That was disconcerting. 
The stuntmen and Momo are still dressed in their old studio spandex suits. They talked about how they could start their own studio and record the first episode. After a few minutes, an idea popped up! Michael has a warehouse not far from here. We could use it. Alright, that could be a start. That'd be just what we need. Let's go there now! Wow, they really didn't leave the suits at the door. What decks? You know, that's kind of... rude. Arriving at the warehouse, everyone got very excited because of its size. <clears throat> that music can't mean anything good! Now they could take advantage of all that available space. They were looking around and thinking about a cam about camera positions. <coughs> when someone spotted something. A huge pillow at the very center of the warehouse, covered in some sort of dirty bed sheet. No one knew what was under it. And Director Mia followed them! Where are those stunt actors? Oh, there they are. They need to return my studio spandex suits. Oh, that is a clock contrivance. But wait, what is that? I'll just keep watching. Then, curious, then curiosity knocked at someone's door, and the sheet was removed. Amazing! An incredible work of a dice used in an American Hero TV series. An American Hero TV series. Um. I might be alone on this, but I don't think... I don't remember any series that had a giant floating brain in a tube. We had Zordon that was a giant floating head in a tube, but the head was just a projection of himself because his actual body was trapped in another dimension, and dear God, I am a nerd. Someone plugged in the energy cable and the machine said its welcome, mounted, its welcome message out loud. Quack quack? Hello, my name is Cerebro. This is an example message. Type the words on my back display and I shall text to speech them. Everyone's eyes shined. Wow, let them have the Wow, let them have those clothes. I know what I actually want from them now. You know, they quit. You're not they don't technically, aside from returning studio property, they don't owe you anything. How thick of some devious plan! I'm out! What a- I get the feeling he's gonna be the end villain. We were just looking for a place to set up our studio and record, but... Now we also have this Cerebro thing to support our story. It's amazing! Yes, this is it. Just ask your uncle for this, too. Our few- Just ask your uncle- few Wait, what? This is it. Just ask your uncle for this, too. Our future fi That's a comma, then a comma- Okay, that's a, that should be a semicolon or a period. That's... I'm... I'm grammar notching a crowdfunded game. What has become of my life? Will do! I think I'll be happy to lend us anything, including the warehouse. I guess. Hooray! Everyone gather your props at home and meet up tomorrow. They make their own props? I am suddenly endeared with this group, as you can no doubt tell from the number of props I usually make for the show. We have plenty of work to do! Oh, we should probably get those, um, gates fixed. They look kind of beaten up at the bottoms. So the group of friends decided to take a different path in their lives. Later that day, the clothes were returned to their old boss. And after a few weeks, with the contract ready to be signed... They finally have everything ready to start recording! Yay! Their budget must be absolutely non-existent. It's probably two, be two beers and a pack of stamps. New contract. I get a thousand dollars. Record season finale after recording four other episodes. Who has a five episode series that... No, who has a five episode season? Seriously, aside from... Is this based in Australia? No, they had usually a minimum of six. I, I can only think of OVAs, so... 
contract will be cancelled if the number of fans is lower than zero. And game froze again. Choose the name of your studio. Easy one. Yes, Productions. Oh god. This is gonna be a pain. Because now I need to name characters and... Yeah. Well, they can at least... I'm gonna pause this F so I can figure out what I want to name these guys, but at least I'm gonna at least flip through the choices. So our basics is blonde girl in pink, dude with afro in... I'm naming you KP. Um... Scar? Really? World famous, this actress will attract lots of fans. Okay, so I gotta keep her on the stage. Basketball star specialized in flashy moves, with a flashy salary to boot. Dude Lee, train on the mountains of China, is the lead actor in all major fighting movies of all times. Ha! Mao Shinmei, Everything, anything is a deadly weapon on this girl's hands. And Mei Yirum, expert in Muay Thai and kickboxing. I'm betting they all have differing specialties, like counter... Well, not, I'm betting. Not betting, but they actually do have different specialties, so... Let's flip through the choices. Evan Tyson, obvious joke there. Gus Fune, damage. Pandas are cute and lazy creatures who sleep all day unless someone tries to destroy the city. Slow movement, but bonuses to attack. Very nice. Michael Florian, a leadering problem solver, Kickstarter back, Kickstarter backer. I'm suddenly wishing I had backed the Kickstarter for this kind of thing, but it was probably just the high-end people that got in. Michonne, expert survivalist. This actress has survived hordes of fans. Heh. <laughs> Azimobot, he is bound by only two of Asimov's laws. Yes, but which ones? I don't want to repeat the IMAX situation, sadly. Ryo Yoshi, a silent monk trained to move like water. <coughs> Telemelia, takes care of his RV as well as takes care of our giant robot. Oh, that's very... No, <laughs> I actually like that, Mecha Health. <laughs> Weasley. Weasley Stripes. Weasley. Experiences I find movies and cry of <laughs> Alien color. He came from outer space. Von Andy. His movement plus ten percent attack plus fifteen audience per bone. Pretty boy. He's here just to raise your audience. Antitonic. Calm artist and musician who may look unremarkable at his secret pro wrestling moves. Ashley Smith, she does not take no for an answer. Plus 30% star damage. What? I just. What? Okay, I'm going to flip through these again and decide on my team and their names. I am terrible at naming things. We'll be back with more Chroma Squad.